Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and this is episode 50 of An Englishman Abroad, A Journeyman Story. That's right, we have reached the big 5-0 and in the big 5-0 we have goals, goals and more goals. So let's get right to it, run the intro. So we start with the match after the epic 5-4 win over Celta Vigo with a 5-0 win against Tenerife. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Starting with a goal from Sergio Ramos. Rakitic with a free kick. Flick to the far post from Deli Ali. There is Sergio Ramos heading in for 1-0. Deli Ali himself making it 2. Clapping as he goes. There's a bit of a glitch gone there. Number 3 coming up here. Deli Ali with the ball through to Douglas Costa who makes a run down the left-hand side, plays it into Miranda, who sends it into the box, looking for Gareth Bale to head in for 3-0. We added a fourth just after the hour. Costa again with the run down the left. Miranda with another ball into the box, this time for Timo Wiener for 4-0. I'm bringing up number five, Douglas Costa with the ball down the left-hand side. This time he whips it in, looking for that man, Gareth Bale, again for Real Madrid 5, Tenerife 0, and as you can see, we were very good value for it. Just the three this time against Rayo Vallecano. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Another penalty this time, Isco with it for 1-0 against Rayo Vallecano. Number two coming from a corner, Tony Kroos back in the side after injury. Out as far as the edge of the box to Gareth Bale, who sent it back with interest. Lovely little chip into the top corner. And we wrapped up the result in the 91st minute. Sergio Ramos playing the ball down to Hackamin. Sent it across into the middle. Bit of pinball before Vena made it 3-0 against Vallecano. We followed that up with a 3-1 win against Villarreal. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Gareth Bale opening the scoring inside the first minute. Costa with the run down the left-hand side. There is Gareth Bale on the far post as he sends it into the far corner for 1-0. We wasted a very long time for number two. 70th minute before the second goal went in. Hackamin down the right, sending it towards the back post. There is Douglas Costa tapping in for 2-0. Number three followed shortly after. Bernardo Silva with the ball to the right-hand side towards Gareth Bale, who crossed it into the middle. It's co with the first attempt, then the second one slamming it into the net for 3-0. But Villarreal, the party poopers, they pulled one back in the 85th minute. Fisca playing the ball over the top for Ruiz, who got in behind Sergio Ramos and bet Kepper very nicely indeed as Villarreal grabbed a consolation. It was the Romelu Lukaku show next up against AC Milan in the Champions League as he scored a hat-trick as we beat Milan by three goals to one. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Starting first with a goal for Romelu Lukaku, the first of his hat-trick. Labasca played it into Douglas Costa who played it forward to Lukaku with his right foot for 1-0. We weren't in front for long, though. Milan equalised inside 20 minutes with a goal from Brenner. Delaney with a header forward for 1-1. Then Romelu Lukaku really did take over. Guerrero with the throw in. Costa with the cross into the box. And the header from Romelu Lukaku to make it 2-1. And he completed his hat-trick and the perfect hat-trick as well with his left foot for number three as we beat Milan in Group E. So we've had a 5-0 win. We have now a 6-0 win, this time over relegation threatened via the lid. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Douglas Costa opening the scoring after 19 minutes. Sergio Ramos with the header forward. There is Gareth Bale. He's found a bit of form again after a little dip. Costa with the goal for 1-0. We doubled our lead on 39 minutes. Hackerman with the ball on the right into Rakitic. There is Douglas Costa with his second goal of the game for 2-0. Number three coming up just after half time. Costa with the supply this time for Hackerman to fire into the net for his first goal of the season. Here is number four. 
Guerrero down the left. Douglas Costa involved heavily yet again with a ball into the box for the defender to slide in to send it across to Lukaku for 4-0. We made it 5-0 on 51 minutes. Douglas Costa playing it back to Guerrero who ran down the left-hand side. Played the ball to the back post where Gareth Bale headed towards goal. Keeper saved it initially, but he tapped in the rebound. And Douglas Costa completed his hat-trick on 74 minutes from the penalty spot as we beat Valladolid by six goals to nil. Another four goals coming up in this one as we beat Ponte Ventura by four goals to nil in the Copa del Rey. Let's take a look at the goals from the game. Now, these guys are a level below the Segunda. So they've actually done better than some of the sides we've played in La Liga this season. Bernardo Silva opened the scoring for 1-0. We did use this game very much as an exercise to get players back up to speed again. There's a few that had been out injured for a while. Hackman sending the ball in the box for number two for Rodrigo. We added a third from the penalty spot. Here's Isco sending the ball into the opposite corner from where the keeper dived and we made it four on 77 minutes. Tony Kroos playing it into Nacho who sent it towards the box for Vena to put in to the net. And we'll see who will play in the Copa del Rey fifth round shortly. And lastly for the roundup for today we had a 1-0 win over Sporting Hihong. Let's take a look at Casemiro's goal. After a glut of goals in the recent games. Just the one today. But if you know what Casemiro is like when he scores. He scores nothing but screamers. As he slammed it into the bottom corner. As we beat Hee Hong by a goal to nil. So here we are at the competition screen. So the Copa del Rey. Our fifth round tie is at home to Nemancia. As we try to reach the final of that. In the Champions League, we have put ourselves in prime position to at least get second placed after beating Milan. Our next tie is against Spartak Moscow, so that should see us safely through to the first knockout round in La Liga. We have gained a bit of an advantage. Atletico Madrid have had a poor month. They've drawn a couple. So our lead is four points right now. We are on the Magic 40, so we're not getting relegated if you use that Rule of thumb, Valencia in third, Real Betis up in fourth place on 30 points, they're doing exceptionally well, Barcelona in the top five, but they are 12 points off the top of the table, which makes me very happy indeed. Down at the bottom, Valladolid, after the thumping that we gave them, they are bottom and they are marooned at the bottom on five points. Las Palmas are second from bottom on eight. Granoa have dropped into the bottom three on ten, whereas Villarreal have escaped the bottom three. They are up to 11 points. And for their sake, hopefully, they're up with the mobile. So, just the 25 goals from our perspective this episode. If you count the two that we conceded, 27 in total, I think. That's got to be some sort of record for me showing you in a video we do promise goals, goals, goals on the An Englishman Abroad series. But if you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section below and follow me on the social medias. That was episode 50 of An Englishman Abroad, a journeyman story. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.